Okay, that's the consistency I got it at. Not quite pourable, but it's good. And then we got this in the pot boiling. And I'm going to say boil this for probably 15 minutes just to get it nice and tender. Now you're going to want to cut up some carrots and potatoes. We didn't have potatoes, so I'm going to try out canned diced potatoes and mushrooms cream of mushroom soup and sweet peas but if you just go and buy like a generic brand of frozen vegetables that'll do you that'll do you I might add a little bit more to make it a little bit creamier not much that'll do Alright, All right. now that 15 minutes have passed, what's that about? We're going to throw all of our stuff in. So we got mushrooms. going to hold off on the potatoes and the uh, sweet peas just because they're already cooked. The carrots are not. I'll do about a cup of carrots, maybe a little more. And I say we're going to let that boil for 10 minutes so those carrots can get done. All right, that's what it looks like. Just tried it and it's plenty soft. So we're going to dump the sweet peas in there. Dump the potatoes in there. Stir that in. Got some can of mushroom soup. Save this can for a second. Mix that in there. This is a big serving. So don't expect to be able to finish this in one set and going to need this for a family. That's about the thickness, but I'm going to make it a little bit more thick. So the way I'll make it thicker so I'll get this. Let's 
sprinkle a little bit of flour in there. Get you a spoon. Pour some hot water in there. And make it milky. Pour it in there. Just stir it around. Look at that, it's already getting thicker. You can use cornstarch, but be careful how much cornstarch you do because that's way more effective. I actually chose to do 400 degrees. I'm going to pour this on top, trying to get it evenly coated on every spot. All right. I'm going to pop that in the oven. And there you have it. Golden brown. The only thing is I would like to put a little bit more butter next time than a half a stick. But I figured it would be okay because of the cream or the canned milk I put in there would give it a richer taste but it definitely would have gotten a better color. It ended up being roughly 30 minutes rather than 35 minutes. All right, there you have it. All right, guys, this is me trying it out. A little bit of everything. Get some of that deer meat and all. It's hot, I mean, I just pulled it out. Seasonings were on point. Till next time.